Okay, so before I begin to this video, I just wanted to show y'all what we're working with because I didn't notice that I got a whole lot of stuff and so I just did this dorm haul video. So if you didn't see that, I'm going to put it in the iCards and I'm going to put it in the description box below. But I just want to see what we are working with so y'all know what we got to pack. <laughs> so just, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. That stuff too, it was in the dorm haul because I already had it before, but that stuff. All of this over here, this, and this is just all the stuff that I bought. There's still stuff that needs to be packed that was that I already had before or just things from last year. So we got a lot to work with, but we just, I'm just going to let y'all hop into the video, okay? So I'll see y'all when we get into the video. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so it is about that time. It is finally time to start packing. I'm I'm doing a little better this year. You know, if you saw my video last year, I did not start packing until like two, three days before it was time for me to move. Like, I had nothing together. But now I'm a little bit better with packing. So we're gonna get to it. I already started doing a little bit of stuff, so I'm gonna show y'all what I've done so far. Don't mind my dirty room. It's usually not like this, but y'all know I do film in here as well. So like, if you see all of my stuff from my dorm hall is in here, but once I'm done packing, it's not gonna be like this no more. So don't mind it. <laughs> so since we have like the abrupt finishing to school, some things were never really unpacked. So like, I still have like extra snacks and stuff from last year still. Then of course I have the feminine care, cleaning stuff, my smell good stuff that I already told y'all about and my dorm essentials. I do not play by them. Got the refills on the bottom already. Um, soap, all sorts of stuff in here that is already packed. My over the door organizer. Then over here in my trunk that y'all knew I already had before, I already have some stuff set up in here. In this one, I like to keep like my cleaning stuff and you see my soap, lotion, things that can't really close all the way so I want to keep them up right so that they don't mess up any bag or anything while we're moving stuff my air purifier some more disinfectant wipes and stuff so I'm gonna be adding more stuff to this but I'm not sure what needs to be packed so what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is me tackling all of this stuff over here what I'm trying to do is get everything into like sections. So of course I had like the boxes over there. And even with my comforter, I put my, everything that's gonna be going on my bed is basically in here. So I have the mattress pad in here, the bed skirt, the um, sheet set and all that. So everything is grouped together. So like this is the bed stuff that's all together. This stuff right here is probably gonna stay in this box since it's already like packed good and this is my cleaning stuff and most of the things that will be in the kitchen in the living room then what we're gonna be working on today is this box right here so this box is empty at the moment and what I'm gonna try to do is get all these individual things that are over here that don't really have a home per se I want to get those in there I want to get all my kitchen stuff in there as well just so that everything is together and we don't have to like be carrying a whole lot of stuff. It's more just carrying a big box somewhere instead of carrying a whole lot of smaller stuff. And that will also help with trash so we don't have to have so much trash because everything would have already been taken out and put into this area beforehand. So I'm gonna set y'all up so we can start going through this and I'll probably talk to y'all, give y'all some tips, what I'm doing as we go through it. So yeah. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna try to fill this big green bin with, oh, with all the stuff that's over here so yeah let's get to it and i'll show y'all my progress as i go how i fill it up and all of that Okay. 
Okay, y'all, so I just finished packing the green bin like y'all just saw me. I think I did pretty good with it. Like, I got a good amount of stuff in here. So this is like my dish rack chair that y'all saw before. And I like stuffed everything in this thing. The nice over there, I have a funnel right there. I have a whole bunch of mixing bowls right there. Blender, just the whole nine is in here, okay? So let me not unpack everything in here before I go and not know how to put everything back where it's supposed to be. But that is one bin that is over. I did have a different plan and idea for that bin, but it didn't really make sense because I want to put this toaster. I want to put this toaster in there at the bottom, but when you put the toaster in there, it takes up a whole lot of space. I was like, this is a toaster, you can carry that, or like anybody can carry that compared to the 50 million things that are in here. So, this is done. Now I have these that still need an area to go to, but I think these will be able to fit into either my black bin that I had on the side or one of those cardboard boxes that's somewhere else. Of course, this is the top. This doesn't really need a bag or anything to go into. This is already together. I need to find somewhere to put my heater because I don't really want my heater out while I am moving. So, not really sure I'm gonna put that, but this is also just one of those things that you can like grab and go with or put in another bag. This is probably most likely going to stay in the bag. These are my bath rugs and my little welcome mat that I got. I do need somewhere to put these as well. So this is like the main stuff right here that I still need to find a place for besides the toaster. Cause I think the toaster is just gonna move just like that without the box. And the pure, I do not want to take that out the box because they're already, these little picture things are already fragile as they are. And I'm not trying to have to deal with that. Um, <clears throat> Like I said earlier, this is already together nothing else is going in here because this is all my bed stuff this is the best you can do with that this honestly might just stay home because i don't think i need all of these if there is no space if there is space it's coming of course but this already has um this already has six in there so i should be good with six until i get back home i'll i should be coming home pretty soon after moving day anyways this now, I might have to take this out the box if there is no space. These are most likely gonna stay in the box. These are probably just gonna get carried regularly or I might pack this with my clothes. Y'all will see how I pack my clothes in that video because I don't want this video to be too long. But I think I did pretty good. I'm now going to go over here, even though there's not much more to pack as far as items because I wanna pack light this year because just in case we get sent back home, even though I am still taking a whole lot of stuff. But I am, I still need to pack this sort of stuff. Those are all my towels and things that need to be washed. That's why they're over here in this corner because you want you want to wash your towels when you get them from the store. You don't want to just put them straight on your body or your, or your face. So I'll probably add some of that kitchen stuff from over there, over here into this little container to fill it up and this is already of course filled up to the max this is basically filled up to the max like the flaps are already up and yeah and then I have some of these I was gonna do a I was gonna put this marble contact paper on my desk but this contact paper isn't long enough so I have to buy some new ones for like my desk at the house so since I have to buy some new ones I just thought I might as well use these, so I'm gonna be using these at school. You guys will see that once everything is finished. So, I think I'm done. I think I did good, y'all, because last year I was not about this action. Last year, I took forever to pack, and I did not know what was going on, but this year I'm more on it. I have my little bins over here that I packed that have some space in them as well to put some stuff, but I might save these bins for, um, my face stuff and everything like that but for the most part I'm good because like I said all that stuff is already in boxes these pillows are in boxes that's already in the box they can stay in it so 
I'm just gonna get these things over into the bin over there. And then I'm taking this again this year. So I gotta get those in there. I'm guessing that'll probably be the best way to transport those, just being in there or those in the black bin over there. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna go back into packing and I'll see y'all when I'm done because I feel like I am almost there, almost done packing all of my items. And then I'm gonna have to pack my clothes, but I'm not doing that today. I'm gonna do that another day. So let's get back into packing and then we'll see what we do when I'm done. Okay y'all, so everything is packed now. I think we did good this year. It didn't take me too long to pack much because like I said, a lot of the stuff that I had from last year was already packed. I'm just gonna show y'all a little overview once again of everything. Um, I didn't do much to these things. I just added my extra containers over here and just put this in this area, but nothing has changed over there for the most part. For this stuff, I've just added my mat right here some shower stuff, curtains, plunger, my duster over there. Added more things that need to be washed. They're not dirty, but they just need to be washed before I put them back on my bed. And then over here, I just put the top back on the little container. You guys already saw what was in there from before. For this, all I did was add this to the top because I, this doesn't fit nowhere right now so that's where that went and the same thing for these they didn't really fit nowhere else so i just put them in here because i don't think i have anything else to put in this container as of right now so yeah for this i just put the blue containers like y'all saw before so filled up you can't even take it out but i just put the blue containers back in here so this is just the stuff that will go inside my desk space once i get there so that's that all of this has stayed the same I just added I don't think I added anything over here so y'all we are done packing I'm so happy because like I said I, I was not this prepared last year like last year I was rushing for it whereas now I feel like I have more time to do it so let me sit y'all down and then we can finish this out. Okay, y'all, so this has been my Pack With Me video. I hope that you guys are getting hyped up and prepared for going back to college or going back to school, whatever it is that you are going back to. I know it's a lot going on right now. So just take time for yourself. Take time to really sit down and relax before everything gets back rolling again with school. I think I did good this year. Like I said, I was not doing this last year. So this was a pack with me video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sitting here and packing with me as well, or just watching me pack, seeing how the process goes and possibly getting some tips on how you should be packing for college when you get there or if you're going this year as well. I love you guys. Remember to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I will be packing my clothes next. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're able to see how I pack my clothes, my little tips and tricks for packing clothes what types of clothes I'll be taking this year because I'm not going to take as much clothes as I took last year because I was doing the most last year. So just subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're able to see all of that and that whole process. And then, you know, we have move-in day and all that coming next. So you want to make sure that you are in the loop and in the silly tree film so you're able to see all of that. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Cynthia so you can see all the behind the scenes of all these videos so you can have more input as to what videos I'll be making and just have more of a one-on-one -on -one connection with me through Instagram. And remember that I love you guys and my name is Sincerely Dree and I will see you in the video. Bye!